So this is the up and down game. All you need is whatever clubs you like to chip with. I use my uh, 54 and then you need your putter and one golf ball. You're gonna play nine to 18 holes depending on how much time you have and if you <laughs> want to do 18. So what you do is you have one ball, drop it in a spot and you try to see how many up and downs you get and you do one over if you miss it, even one under if you chip in. And so I like to finish around even par. That is my goal. And you can set it anything that you want to, five over, um, probably not under par because that means you used to have a couple chip ins. Um, so again, this is just a really great game to work on your putting and your chipping and to just improve and put some pressure on yourself. my up and down game I played nine holes I chipped it on the first which was great and then had one bogey so finished out even I'm very happy with that I noticed that I was giving myself a lot of testers of that like four and a half five feet which I don't want those so I know that I need to work a little bit more on my short game um, I noticed that I was having an issue reading the greens and how things were breaking so they weren't bad shots necessarily but they were rolling out so far because I didn't take the time to walk up and see how everything was breaking. So learn from that from ne for next time to take a little bit more time, really read the greens. And then, um, yeah, uh, hit a lot of really good putts, but I was really testing myself. And so I need to hit it closer. And that's kind of what the shot scope data was telling me. So it matches up. And one thing with this, um, game is that it's really important just to kind of drop the ball you don't want to give yourself preferred lies which i'm definitely guilty of so really just try to throw the ball down play it as it lies and then um, really try to recreate like you're out on the golf course and you have it up and down so take the time to walk out um, see where you want to land it see where the greens are breaking go through your whole pre-shot routine um, which i did but i cut it out just for so you don't have to watch me do that <laughs> um, but yeah try to recreate it as much as possible so as you can see from all of the drills and games that i'm showing you and even the irons that uh, in a previous video where I said play as like you're on the golf course. These are the best games to do to get your mind in the right place to take your range game out on to the golf course and to improve and get better. So after I do the nine holes, what I like to do is find a shot that I didn't really hit that well um, during the game, which was almost a lot of them because I wasn't hitting as close as I want to. So I'll take three balls and I'll go through my routine on all of them. I don't like to bring out a huge shag bag of balls. I used to do this and I would just hit shot after shot after shot. And that doesn't really recreate how it feels on the golf course. And so I had a really hard time taking my game from the range over to the golf course and mentally it just was terrible for me. And so again, less is more and going through your pre-shot routine and taking that time is so important. Some of the pros you've seen footage of DJ on the range, he cleans his wedges after every single shot and goes through his pre-shot routine. And so you really see that it's the focus that you put into every shot is going to transfer over to the course. So again, less is more, three balls, hit your shots, go through your routine, and that's kind of it for your practice. 
So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. See you guys next time.